Hi there, if you are on a tight budget, but you still wanna have the gear, the microphones that you need to be able to capture and record high quality professional audio to create your own sound effects, then this is gonna be the video for you. I'm gonna share with you my top five budget-friendly microphones that are under $500. With that said though, before we get into it, if you're new here and are a sound designer, I have a gift for you. It's my sound designer starter pack. It's a sound pack I put together. There's over 900 sound effects, everything from UI sounds, spells, monster sounds, a whole bunch of stuff that you can get free. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. All right, with that said, let's get into our first pair of microphones. All right, if you're just getting started, one of the first things you're gonna need is an actual recorder to be able to record sounds with. So, right, so your microphones, you're gonna plug them into a recorder. And to do that, what I uh, started with was the Zoom H6. It was great. I could record up to 96 kilohertz, 24 bit, and it was, it was super light and portable, and you can just walk around with it, and it's really easy to record stuff with that. Now, uh, today there's a better option, and what I, if I was gonna start over, what I would look at and what I would suggest to get is the Tascam Porter Capture X6. So this is similar to the Zoom H6 in that uh, it's still really light, really portable, but it's a lot better in that now instead of 24 bit, it is a 32 bit, and it can record still up to 96 kilohertz. So that is plenty to get started. It's really, really good. Ultimately, eventually you might want to upgrade to something that can record up to 192 kilohertz or more. But honestly, if you're just getting started and for the price and the budget that this comes at, this is excellent. So great to start with. It comes with two caps, microphone capsule on top of the uh, recorder that you can use to uh, record. So it already comes with microphones. You don't need to buy additional microphones, but it also has two inputs, uh, two microphone XLR inputs on the side. So if you do want to purchase an extra two microphones or something, even the ones from this list from this video, like you can, you put, plug those in and then you can record with the two capsules on top and then two extra microphones on the side. So uh, super flexible, versatile, and light. And honestly, this is where I would start if I was starting from scratch. So there's two things I like to look for when I'm looking at uh, a recorder or something to record my sounds with. One is going to be the self noise. And this is usually uh, rated uh, as an EIN number. And for the Tascam Porter Capture X6, that number is at negative 125 dBU, which is excellent if compared to something that I use, which is my Zoom a uh, F6 which is a lot higher quality. Like it's, uh, I think it's a thousand dollar microphone or close to there. Uh, so a big difference. I think it's like a $500 difference. And the F6 is rated at negative 127 dBU. So, you know, Tascam rated at negative 125, that is excellent. And like I said before, the other thing I like to look at is the sample rate and bit depth and 90, 96 kilohertz and 32 bit for the Tascam. That's excellent. So at, at $369, that's a great uh, entry price. And that's exactly what I would look for if I was just starting out. So assuming you already have a recorder to record with, let's move on to our first pair of microphones here. And this is gonna be the EM258s. All right, so the EM258s here, these are uh, awesome uh, because they are ultrasonic microphone. What that means is that can actually record from, uh, I think it's like 20 hertz all the way up to 70 kilohertz. And at the price point, which is like right here, you can see 22 euros, that's really, really unheard of. To be able to record that high, uh, most microphones you'll be paying upwards of $1,000 uh, to be able to record that. So these are the best. Honestly, this is what I use absolutely all the time. Here you can see, you can select a two match pair. So for two microphones, looking at 50 euro, there's 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 nothing more that I could suggest other than these. They're excellent. Uh, like I said, I use this all the time for, for my projects. I use these on all of my sound packs that I record just because I can do extreme pitch shifting with them. So I record pretty much everything with this at one. 92k 32 bit and then I, I can do uh, like i said extreme pitch shifting and actually even though they're rated to record up to 70 kilohertz uh for depending on the material and the source that you're recording i've had recordings record up to 96 kilohertz so you actually it goes actually above 70k so for the price point like i said there's nothing more that you can that I can suggest here. This is probably the one that you would want to pick up first, especially if you're a sound designer. These are the ones you want. Now, a few things to take uh, to to notice here is you will need the Rode VXLR, which is like the adapter, and the reason for that is because these come with a TRS cable here. So. So you will need the Rode VXLR adapter to be able to plug those in. And I think those come at something like $50 each, $50 to $60, if I remember correctly. It might be a bit more, a bit less. Um, but there is an alternative if you don't want to have something like this. So I use this, but if I had known about the alternative, I probably would have gone for the alternative. So let me show you what that is. All right, so here's the alternative. Uh, here I am on Etsy.com. And uh, this is just from a, a seller, and they're based in New York. Uh, and they're doing the same thing here. So they're taking the ultrasonic uh, microphone EM258s and they kind of put it inside its own like capsule here. And the reason why this is great is because now you don't have to purchase a separate XLR uh, adapter. It's already kind of built in. Plus, because it has its own capsule, like you can use something like a little clip like that to be able to hold it in place or to put it um, on, on, a, on a stand or something like that. So the, the issue with these little capsule here is because they're so tiny, like they're, they're literally the size of like my fingernail. They're very, very small. 
Um, these are great because you can you can put them on a little stand, clip them in place, and then ha have it held in place. Like right now, unfortunately, I like I have mine, and they're t uh, tacked down uh, with a sticky tack on, on a uh, on a bar because I don't have I don't, I don't have anything that I can clip them on. So this is a bit more versatile. Yeah, it costs a little bit more. You're going to be paying uh, something like sixty dollars more ish, maybe sixty to hundred dollars more. But you have that versatil versatility. If you only want one here, they also sell a, a, an option for one. Anyways, something to think about. But yeah, I highly recommend these. These are are really great, uh, especially for any kind of loud sounds. They take um, uh, SPL, which is uh, sound pressure levels. They take them pretty well. So any impacts or anything like that, in my uh, experience, these uh, have been great. So highly recommend these. All right, let's move on to our second pair of uh, dedicated microphones here. And these are going to be our Loam uh, UZ Pros. So let's have a look here. So for Loam UZ Pros, unfortunately, these are usually like always sold out. And when they do come out with a new batch, uh, they usually sell out within like minutes. These are really hard to get your hands on. But the good thing is um, a lot of people say that uh, these microphones are probably the same as the EM272s. And that is these here. You can also find these on the same website here. If you look at the, um, on mikebooster.com, you should have the AM272s right here, which you can have a look at. If you want something that's a bit more robust, like I said before, with something that you can clip into place, and um, they have some here on Etsy, so you can have a look at these here. But yeah, these are fantastic. They're, they're, the self noise on these is 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 really good at negative 14 dBA. That's, that's excellent. Compared to the ultrasonic microphones here, they're a bit louder at 20 dBA. Uh, not a deal breaker, but just so you kind of have a, a know the difference here. And also these record up to 20 kilohertz. In my experience, when I'm recording at 192K, I can I usually get some information up to like 50, 40 kilohertz and sometimes a little bit more, but it usually starts to die down around there. So yeah, you can still get some ultrasonic sound in there, but they're not really, they don't they don't go reach up as high as the M258s. So usually these, uh, the Lom UZ Pros and the EM252, the uh, 272s here, they're really great for like really quiet sounds, sensitive sounds. Uh, so anything like um, ambient sounds or like really quiet sounds that you want to capture uh, or up close or something like that, these are going to be fantastic fantastic for that. So um, uh, yeah, highly recommend these for uh, the, that kind of sound if you're looking at recording ambiences or quiet sounds. All right, let's have a look at our third pair of dedicated microphones here. And these are going to be different. They're, they're going to be contact microphones. So the ones that I would recommend and the ones I own and use are the Cortado Mark III microphones. So let's have a look here at what they are. So for the contact Cortado Mark III microphones, here is a sheet for it. And you can have a look at it here. Uh, but basically, these are, this is it right here. This is what it looks like. And um, yeah, it's a contact microphone. You can put like a little sticky tack on the back of it and you can basically stick this anywhere and it'll stick to anything. So this is great whenever you wanna uh, record something that perhaps is harder to record or if you just wanna get a different angle, a different perspective, or you just wanna have something that's low noise. So what's great about contact microphones is even though it might be super loud in the environment, if you're sticking it to a surface that uh, is not vibrating or is not being affected by the noise in the environment, like you'll still get a really clean recording. So that's what's great about this. Usually I use this to get more of a body uh, to my sound. So if I'm recording something uh, with my, my EM 258s, I'll usually get uh, like a more realistic sound. But with the Cortado Mark III's on the sound source, I can get a, a fuller body. So more mids, more lows. So it kind of fills out the, the, the sound in that way. So they're really great for that. Another thing that's really good about these is that they are um, ultrasonic, as in they are rated to record from 23 hertz to 40 kilohertz. So that's great. And, I, and again, for these, depending on what you're recording, they'll go even higher than 40 kilohertz. I think I've had mine go up to like 60 or 70. So depending on what you're recording, you can get like really high frequency. So that's great, especially if you're doing, like, like I said before, extreme pitch shifting, really good for that. And what's also cool about these is that they can go and withstand extreme temperatures. So like negative 40 degrees Celsius and eight to 80 degrees Celsius, like that's super cool, super hot. So like pretty much any temperature that you are in, you'll, you'll be able to use these microphones. So they're really great and flexible for that. Um, one thing that's really cool about these as well is like in their promotional videos, they show like a, a car running over the capsule, not the box, but the capsule of the microphone just to show how like solid it is. So it's a really good solid microphone uh, for that. Um, I Unfortunately, I don't know what the self noise is on this microphone. Usually I, I like to know what that is, but honestly, it's never really been an issue when I'm recording stuff. I, it must be like close to the other ones between, you know, negative 15 to negative 20 dBA. I don't know exactly what it is, but yeah, it's not, it's not something that is a deal breaker for getting these. So excellent microphones if you're looking for contact microphones. All right, let's have a look at our final microphone here. And this is going to be a pencil microphone. It's going to be the Rode NT5. 
All right, so here's the Rode NT5. And this is a pencil microphone. So basically it's really good for like indoor recordings. Uh, it might not be the best for outdoor stuff, but if you're recording indoors, it's really great. These are rated at a low self noise of a 16 dBA. So again, they're very quiet, just like the, um, the Lomu Z Pros that are at negative 14, so very close. And then they can record up to 20 kilohertz. So you, you get your full frequency spectrum, not ultrasonic, but still very good. So this is just a very clean microphone. You can just basically get a very clean and good recording out of it. So if you're looking for like a really clean budget microphone, and you're gonna be recording in your house, or around your house, this is a good place to start. All right, so those are the five microphones I would suggest if you are just starting out and you're looking for budget-friendly uh, microphones to start recording your own sound sources at your house, this is what I would look for. So. I'm actually curious to know, like, is there something that you're using that would be budget friendly that I haven't mentioned here? Is there another one that I should look into? Uh, leave it down in the comments below. I'd be really interested to know what you guys use. All right, I hope you found this video useful and valuable. If you have any questions, as usual, leave them down below. And uh, just a reminder to grab the sound pack, my sound designer start pack. A link will be in the description as well. All right, so that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching all the way through to the end. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.